That is the breast pump. Where is that? Who cares about the breast pump? Hey. Hey, honey. Are the crunchy sun, I should say. Good morning, everyone. How are you? It is so nice to see you. It has been such a long time feels really good actually to have my vlogging camera in hand again and to be reconnecting with all of you on YouTube. It is really great to see you this morning. So much has changed. I've had a baby. We've moved. I've downsized my team at House of On. So, so much has changed. I've got a ton to catch you guys up on, um, which I'm really excited to do today. It is a Sunday. Normally I wouldn't do something like this on a Sunday, but I've been really itching to just pick up the camera and say hello, reconnect with you, and I thought today might be the perfect day to do that. Um, I've got an event that I'm going to be getting ready for. It's a brunch event for a restaurant opening, a brand new restaurant that I had designed, and today they're doing a media event, so I thought it would be fun to take you to that. And um, I'm hoping to do a little introduction with you guys to Baby Madison. She is now three months old, so I'll introduce you to her, and she is just Oh my gosh, the best, the best. Um, it's so fun being a mom. It's so fun being a mom. It's so fun having a baby. I love, I love having a baby. I love having a newborn. Everyone who we've bumped into, when they find out how old she is, and everyone always says, oh, it gets so much easier at three months. It gets so much easier at three months. But honestly, I feel like having a newborn has been great. I'm actually a little sad that she's technically not a newborn anymore. I think at three months, they classify a baby as an infant. So no longer a newborn, but an infant. Anyways, it has been so much fun and um, I haven't found it all that difficult, really. I feel like I've transitioned into motherhood. I don't know, the transition has been really natural for me. So it's been great, it's been really, really great. Um, so yeah, I'll introduce you to baby Madison and maybe I'll do a little bit of a house tour because obviously, as you can see, this is completely different than the home that you're all familiar with. Um, I'm just going to set the camera down as I make a tea. One second here. We had decided to sell our townhouse just a couple weeks before I gave birth to Madison. We had been thinking about it for a really long time and kind of at one point yes we're going to know or not yes we're going to know or not and then right before giving birth to Madison it just both Chris and I looked at each other and we felt like it was the right time to list our place um, and see if we could sell it so we listed it it sold super fast it was only on the market for uh, about a week we were really happy with the sale um, and then two weeks later was it two weeks later not even I feel like it was I'm trying to remember it, I don't even think it was two weeks later. I think it was maybe a week later I was in the hospital giving birth to Madison and then we moved about um, I want to say about a month about a month after that six weeks maybe after having the baby we moved so it's definitely been a very chaotic um, but beautiful last few months even though this house we don't own it so we're renting we don't know how long we're gonna be here. We're definitely gonna be here for the summer. We could be here for a year. We could be, I don't know. I don't know, who knows. The market has just been so crazy in Vancouver that we've decided to sit out for a little bit and just kind of wait and see what happens before we make our next move. My dream would be to build a house. That would be my absolute dream. And of course I would take all of you along for that journey. I don't know, we're not ready to do that yet and we're just getting settled in this house so we're gonna take our time over the next little while and even though this house isn't like it's not finished obviously as nicely as the townhouse is this is a total rental like a lot of the finishes I don't love at all but I really love the space so this is at least twice the size of our townhouse and it's got a beautiful backyard which you can kind of see in behind me that's the dining room there that's overlooking the backyard it's got a great outdoor space that we are planning on taking full advantage of 
over the next little while while it's spring and summer coming so we're really excited about that um and it's it's strange like i didn't think that i could be this happy being in a rental or this happy being in a space that's not like my own i thought it was really going to irritate me and it probably will at some point but for now um i'm really loving it i really love the space i love the outdoor space it's been great starting our family life here it's been a lot of fun so i'll definitely do a little bit of a home tour later today um and right now let's see it is uh 8 47. i have to leave in exactly an hour so i've got to get ready you like it so excited for this event. Let's take a photo. Okay. Okay. Over here? Okay. Once it's completed, full of people, and uh, to see the space being enjoyed by people too. so proud of Jasmine because I have like a soft spot for young entrepreneurs and I'm so proud of what you've created and built and it's so fun to work with people who are who have an amazing vision and who let the artists kind of run with that vision and that's exactly what Jasmine did she came to me and said I have this idea, I want to do an Australian inspired cafe in Vancouver. This has never been done before. I want to do a restaurant that has beautiful food and I want the room to be very much inspired by Australia. So I was like, okay girl, we are working together for sure. <laughs> and um, part of what I love to do with interior design is to take inspiration from other cultures, um, other cities, from food, from art, from fashion. And so getting to work on a space that is truly inspired by Australia is, was so much fun. So we wanted to create a space that was like really refined, but still fun and fresh. Like a lot of the design coming out of Australia is exactly that. It's like youthful, it's fun, it's vibrant, it's like happy spaces. Um, and we wanted to create a space that's also simple, but not empty. So that's kind of why when you look around, you see a lot of like the tone on tones. We've got these beautiful plaster walls, um, which is a very similar color to this gorgeous fabric that we've got on the booths, which is similar to the textured plaster on some of the other walls, which they did a great job at, by the way. 
Um, and then we wanted to fill the space with a lot of life. So you see a lot of the plants, this great communal space, which was very much inspired by Jasmine's family. She said, the space plan has to have a table where I can host and seat my entire family. And I think there's like 16 people. Yeah, but in true Indian fashion, like there's just <laughs> an entire brood. Like me and my, my, my family, we live next door to each other. It's three brothers. And but we would always go to restaurants and never find a table that was big enough. We'd just be like scattered everywhere. So when I, when I reached out to Karen, I was like, this table right here needs to fit my family. <laughs> Yeah, and so it took a while to put this together because yeah. I was just looking. We started working together a year and a half ago, and then the doors just got open. So that's how long it takes to plan a space. We went through multiple iterations of a space yeah. plan. We were in construction for six months. well, six just over six months, yeah. um, and fa finally now the doors are open, and I think it looks amazing. Of course, there's a couple mishaps that happen <laughs> along the way, which is construction. That's yes. I'm used to it, and not every client is used to it. Yeah. Um, but we had a little mishap where we had the booths that showed up in this like bright canary big bird yellow, yellow color <laughs> and it was like a week before we opened and I'm like panicking going I'm gonna have these like disgusting yellow booths in the middle of our beautiful <laughs> interior she sent me a photo and I was like what the what happened here for me as a designer working on a commercial space like this you plan it for so long, you're in construction for so long, there's different iterations that happen, but to get to the end, like where we are right now, and to see it full of people experiencing the space and enjoying the space is probably the most rewarding part of the design process. So um, I'm just- And loves our gold hallway. The gold hallway. Gold hallway. <laughs> yeah. so when when we, I first uh, came to Karen, I was like, it needs to be Instagrammable. The entire space needs to be like, and influencers, you're kind of like looking over there and you're like, what is that little space in the corner? And then you go in and you're like, oh my God, it's head to toe gold. Yeah. I love that everyone's been taking part of our video booth. I think the videos are gonna come out so exciting. Um, but, but this is exactly what you wanted. From yeah. the very beginning, Jess said, I want a, an experiential space. Yeah. I want a space where people are, are not only experiencing the food, but anywhere you go in the space, it's a different experience. So yes, the gold hallway, the bathrooms are, have a completely different vibe. If you haven't checked out the bathrooms yet, I would recommend just going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check it out, right? Take a selfie. <laughs> um, no, and it's just so great to see all of you here experiencing this beautiful space. I'm so proud with the way that it turned out. Well, it is late in the day. It's the end of the day, about 6.30. I have not had a chance to do a proper home tour yet because I've been busy with the baby and getting organized and trying to get her down for a nap. I am now in my home office slash soon to be home gym area, which I'm very excited about by the way and uh, doing some major organizing. So, <laughs> you can see behind me, uh, this flooring is awful. Like, awful, awful flooring. I don't like it at all. Chris and I are in the progress of putting down some carpet tile. The walls in this house, I also don't love. They're kind of this light olivey green color. It looks a little yellow on screen right now. Maybe that's also because of the lighting. It's not my favorite color. I kind of wish the walls were just all white, but it's a rental, so we're gonna live with it. Um, this is the state of my desk, <laughs> which is pretty crazy and 
I'm just organizing right now, need to organize. I just got this board up earlier today, which I'm really excited about because this is gonna be my new vision board. You know me, I've talked a lot about manifestation. And, um, what are you saying, honey? What are you saying? Are you excited? You were just talking a whole bunch. You were just talking a whole bunch. Yeah. Yeah, what are you saying? What are you saying? She wants my full attention. That's why I haven't had a chance to finish this vlog. So. Uh, you want my attention? Uh. Yeah. Okay. So with that said, I guess the home tour will have to wait. The home tour will have to wait. Um, it's great hanging out with you guys today. I'm really glad that you got to come to the media event with me. I'm glad that I got to spend some time with you even though it wasn't a ton of time. I'll see you guys again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.